Hello friends and welcome back to another Tull tutorial. I've gotten a lot of requests for summer day sands over the last year or two and was meaning to get around to it and finally I've got around to it. So um, I don't know, I only learned this song like yesterday so I don't uh, know how to sing it and play it all at the same time. I've got the lyrics printed out hopefully for some landmarks you know as we go through this. Uh, but the first thing that you're going to have to do is tune your guitar to double drop D tuning. So you need to take the E string all the way down to D. And then the high string, E string as well is going down to D. So now you have three D notes on the guitar. So that now when we make a D chord, the lower part, we're not going to put our uh, fret the E string, we're going to let the E string ring open. But now when you play the lower part of a D chord, you have that nice modal sound. It's a very powerful sound without the third. So it's a very cool tuning. Uh, he capos this on the second fret, so now we're going to stick the capo on the second fret here. Alright, so uh, just before I get going with this, I've been doing these three-quarter speed play-alongs, so I slow the YouTube player down to three-quarter speed, uh, because I think that might be useful for, you know, maybe more advanced players just to see where the hand positions are so they don't have to wade through my uh, tedious tutorial about all the ins and outs of the tune. Um, but I wanted, before I started, I wanted just to give you a few tips on how to find open tunings. Uh, you know, that can be maddening when you're trying to figure out, well, how is he doing the voicing of those chords? I don't get it. You know, having struggling in regular standard tuning and you just can't find it. The first thing to look for is a very helpful thing is if they play some harmonics. Um, so he opens this actually with harmonics. So that, that's a great way to tell what the tuning is. If you listen to those harmonics and you figure out, well, how do I need to tune my strings to get those harmonics? And so harmonics are wonderful landmark. The other thing is to listen, listen for uh, ringing open strings. So a, a open string has a very different sound from a fretted string, and you can usually pick that up. just has a more pure ring and he on the opening lick on this tune so you can really hear that E string ring open now he, he could have alternately played it there but hear how different that is from... So you can really hear that E string ringing open. So that's another clue. So the harmonics and listening for open ringing strings are, are my advice for trying to find a tuning that somebody's uh, altered the, from standard tuning. All right, so now we have the tuning uh, figured out. Uh, I'll play through this tune at three quarter speed and then I'll come back and explain. If you're having difficulty playing along with the bridge in this song, uh, we'll join the club because it has some very odd measures in there which I'll explain later. Um, but yeah, that, that's a very difficult part of the song rhythmically.
right, so that's Summer Day Sands at three quarter speed in double drop D tuning with the capo on the second fret. All right, so uh, let's look at the intro. So he's playing the harmonics on the 14th fret up to the B string. And then playing this on the E string, hammer on pull off. And then he plays the open B and open G string going down before landing on this lower part of the D chord. All right, you can see that while we're strumming that D, we're playing those notes on the G string. All right, so there we're starting on the open D string, ending on the open G string. And then you're coming down to the bottom of a C chord and then hitting the open B string and hammering on the third fret. Alright, so when he starts the verse, the verses are all the same. So once you get this verse pattern down, you're good for all the verses. So he kind of slides up on the G and the B string here. Once met a girl. All right, so what are we doing there? We're sliding up. I use my uh, middle finger and ring finger. We just take that down two frets. And then we're playing those notes on the G, uh, G and B string. And then we're taking our uh, index finger and just barring the upper three strings. And then we slide down, but we put our pinky on the E string. So we, we keep that note up top. All right, so I'm taking my pinky, taking it off, fretting the B string, coming back, and then going to the G chord, which I'll show you how to fret in just a second. When we get to this G chord, we're fretting the bass note here, fretting the G string here, and fretting the E string here. So that gives us our G chord. Every time he plays the G chord through the verses, he suspends the fourth. So he's coming up on that note on the G string. So it's a little bit awkward because you're fretting the G chord like this and you have to use your pinky to suspend that note on the G string. Before going back to that open kind of D chord here. So, all right, so there he's coming back down to the D position and he's playing those notes on the E string, the high E string. I do it by just laying my index finger across to hit that note and then using my pinky to finish on the E string. 
And then he goes back to the G chord. Does the, whoops, does, does the same suspended thing. All right, so let's come out of the uh, intro. I once met a girl with a light in her hands and we lay together on the summer day sands. Like I say, I don't know how to sing this because I just learned it yesterday. But you know, that'll, that'll just give you some place markers about how to do the verses. So every verse repeats exactly the same. Um, so that's that's not the hard part of this song. The hard part is is, is the bridge, and it it's, it has odd measures in it, and it's uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, to get into the bridge, he he comes uh, he finishes the verse. So he's he's doing a little bit faster. Uh, he's just playing the lick that he played in the intro. Hammer on pull off. Playing the open B string and G string. And then he frets the G string here and plays it twice. And then he just runs down a scale to the E minor chord. So, um, you know, that's a little bit uh, at the tempo that the song is actually going. It's a pretty fast lick. Uh, but that, that's all it is. All right, so when we get down to the E chord, because of the standard tuning, we're just going to play the middle four strings. You can play the E string for the E minor chord if you want to fret it there. So you end up having to fret across the E string, A string, and D string at the same place on the second fret. You can't play the open E string because that makes it a, a E minor 7. So you have to limit it down to the B string. What, what I do when I'm playing this is I just fret the E minor chord normally, but I just play the A string, D string, G string, and B string. So if you keep your, your uh, strumming within that narrow range, uh, you can play the E chord like you would normally. Says the C caught fire. Then C. But once again, keep your strumming on the four strings in the middle. And then you go to an E major. Before going back to the D. And now we're just going to walk down the bass string. On the, on the A string. We go to the, to the A string here. And we just walk it down. And then we're going to... But the, the trick of this is the odd measure in there. And what, the way I think of this song is in 6-8 time. So when I'm playing along with this record, I actually have to count this because I can't feel it that well. So. 
flames grew high in her eyes All right, uh, so the way that I count this is if you're playing along with the record, this is what you have to do rhythmically. It's one, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, so that's it's is there's a measure of four in between the bars there. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then he interrupts to get into the second part of the bridge with that little run. And it's an odd measure too, because it's on one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And then he picks the D string here. And then he goes back down that scale. Uh, it's one two. It's a bar of two actually count. And then on the three, you're going to hit the D string and play that again. So let me start the bridge again. One two three 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 four. One two three 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 one two. This time you don't you don't have to count it because he just stays on the on the regular measures and walks down and ends on the A string here. And then that hangs on that chord till he goes back into So yeah, the verses are all the same. So the way he ends this is he goes back into On Sunday Sands So he's just doing that on the A string. So he repeats that four times. And then the ending is a really oddly uh, rhythmic little strum here. He, he suspends the, the D chord with the pinky on the E string up here. So you can see that last chord. I'm actually fretting it just like you would a normal D chord. Uh, so it turns it into a D9 chord actually, but because you have to reach up here and hit it with your pinky I just bar across here with my index finger and play the B string there And then he goes back up Plays the harmonics again up to the B string Same lick as the opening and then ends on the D chord. And Martin does that little slide, you know. 
<laughs> so if you want to just kind of throw that in, you can kind of end it like that if you want, or just end it on the open D chord. All right, so that's Summer Day Sands. Uh, once again, you know, I think probably if I was if I was just to play this once again out somewhere, uh, you know, open mic or something like that, um, I would not do the odd measures. I would just sort of uh, find a way to stay in the groove. You know, it's much easier to do something like that than to actually do what he does on the record. So if you're having trouble, once again, playing along to the record, that's why, because of those odd measures. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. All right, so yeah, to, to play along with the record, you're going to have to count those out. All right, uh, Summer Day Sands. Till next time, crew. See you later. Have a great day. Bye.